Take a look three weeks ago. Harris was ahead by two in Pennsylvania, two in Wisconsin, three in Michigan. Look at where we are today. The race is even tighter. The five point advantage that Kamala Harris had in our last poll is gone. I mean, just look at them side by side and you can see it. You go four years ago, Joe Biden was up by an average of seven points across these three Great Lake battleground states. You come today, it's just a one point advantage for Kamala Harris. We just asked the basic image perception people have. Is it positive or negative of these candidates? We polled this a month ago. She was 48% positive. That's completely reversed. All right, so party ID nationally. You go to October, November of 2016, Democrats had a three point advantage. You go four years ago, Democrats had a six point advantage. Look at where we are today, Ronnie. Republicans. Wow with a one point advantage. And then there's the weight of the fact she's the VP in an unpopular administration. We asked about President Biden's policies. Are they helping or hurting your family? Just a quarter of voters said they're helping. Nearly half said they're hurting. The bottom line is Kamala Harris with younger black men and then black men overall putting in historically weak performance for a Democrat. We also asked folks, think back to when Donald Trump was president. Did his policies help or hurt your family? And look at the difference, 44% helping 31 hurting the retrospective you would say opinion of trump's presidency among voters arguably higher now than when he was president i mean the bottom line is this at this particular hour if you believe the polling uh, donald trump's going to put up the best performance with black voters since richard nixon back in 1960 not 68 since 1960 that's 64 years ago among hispanic voters donald trump's going to put up the best performance for republicans since 2004 and george w bush meanwhile Double stamp, double stamp, Lord. You can't double stamp, double stamp.